What's going on guys? This is Marcel Flores from Wondap Street. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to another crazy vlog. This time it's just gonna be one, not like several days, just one big vlog from New York Fashion Week with my homie Brian. So we are running to the first presentation right now to suit supply, so I'll show you I'll show you my suit also and, and, and what we see just now. Take a look. I look so beautiful and it's so nice to be doing this here in New York where I feel like I literally know everybody in there all of my friends as you just saw like a whole lot of hello hi what's up and that's gonna happen a whole bunch this week I'm sure the collection was absolutely beautiful I'm wearing it right now well not yet I'm wearing the spring summer collection that was fall winter but it was really nice so now it's a couple outfit changes today <laughs> uh, you're gonna I'll show you a quick look of this outfit And now I'm already in the next look, which I'm not going to show you right now because I'm going to change back out of it. We just got to shoot a video. I'm going to show you guys after the Todd Snyder show. So you guys better don't stop watching right now. And another outfit change for lunch with Primark and these guys. So inside, this is freezing. Come. You better grab that tambourine. Bring a blaze, we might be weak. fittings at Hugo Boss and Tom Ford for two beautiful suits up to the train and to the next presentation. right around then when I realized that my microphone wasn't plugged in correctly because it's a new camera and I put it in the headphone jack instead of the microphone jack and then I got all confused because it wasn't turning on the way it was supposed to so I'm just gonna narrate the rest of the vlog and just show you guys my impressions so that was day one and did you guys notice that I snuck in the Todd Snyder look the show was amazing and I've been saying it throughout all the vlogs, I think like just wearability, I just keep saying it over and over again, but like what, what's not, what's more important than being able to actually wear what you see on the runway. And this season has just been great altogether. I think it's, I don't know, may maybe I just haven't been paying attention to the shows in the past season so much, but I feel like there's so many good things in there and I'm just really, really happy. And then was the second day, second day was a Tuesday, and I went to a, a Louis Vuitton event, to the Joseph Aboud show, straight to the Tom Ford show, and for both shows I was wearing looks, so you'll see those in a second. And I finished off with Perry Ellis, so you guys take a look at that.
was already day three. Tom Ford, it was the first time I was invited to the Tom Ford show and that was very unique, but obviously just the suit. I can't get over the suit. And speaking of suits, day three was the day I was wearing my Hugo Boss suit, so showing you a little bit of the behind the scenes at the Hugo Boss show. They invited me and I went backstage a little bit, so I'm gonna show you a glimpse of that. There was some photo shooting right before. So you'll see that, you'll see the show, which it's really hard. At this point, it's actually getting really hard, including Europe. I don't even know what my favorite show is anymore because there was so many good ones and Hugo Boss is amazing so I'm very excited for you guys to see that in a second. And then I was headed straight to French Connection which was their first runway show and kind of like an event meets runway. You guys check it out. I get around despite the laws I'm over here gotta get across Whether you like it, like it or not There is a moment meant for now you made it, but I already played this Not interested, open your eyes, let's get it done Take my hand, just follow me Shadow me, I won Sky is on fire The Lakers turn to a... Did you enjoy the show? Yes, absolutely. It was uh, so wearable and the colors like that could easily just be my closet. I'd be happy. Well, okay, so I, I love a chocolate brown, like the medium brown. So that entire part of the collection was gorgeous. There was a like a puffy trench coat yes. with a contrast sleeves and a different tone of brown that was mind-blowing. Absolutely. So the beautiful. color palette was brilliant, but you also love the textures. And the, the, the silhouettes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I feel like you can really see the Hugo Boss tailoring, but kind of pushing it a little bit to make it a little bit more high fashion. Absolutely. And then things got all sorts of dressy and amazing for the last event of Fashion Week. It was my first time attending the Amphar Gala here in New York. There's one in Cannes, there's a couple or three more I think all over the world. Amphar is actively looking for a cure for eight and I was there I was invited by Kiehl's to join their table they're one of the main sponsors for the event it was a whole bunch of celebrities and obviously it was a fundraiser so people were donating and it's just it was a really good cause and everybody looked incredible With that, I'm going to end today's vlog. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed New York Fashion Week men's with me. Um, women's started right after, but I uh, dipped for that because I went to Berlin. So you guys can be excited for a vlog coming from there. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you had fun, like I said. And I'll see you guys soon with the next video. Until then, bye guys. Stay dapper.